Good Monday morning, everybody. The sun is shining in Kentucky. I swear it feels like a rare event anymore. But anyways, it is early morning. It is time to get the day started. Getting ready to feed these poochies. Look how they're, they hover around me. Where's the other one? I don't know where she went. But I've got these two. I'm getting ready to cook breakfast. So they are having some Play-Doh time. Are you making shapes? Oh, you're cutting it. You cutting the Play-Doh? Good job. And Colton has been over here rolling his out like biscuit dough and making marks on it. What color is that? Brown. What color? Green. Green? It's greenish blue, huh? Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. Cece, what color do you have? Cake. No, what color? What's that? What that? Color? Pink. Pink, yes. Good job. I'm going to let them play with their Play-Doh. I'm going to make breakfast. And then when they get done, breakfast gets done, we'll clean yeah. everything up. Mommy, no. Good job. I'm going to clean everything up. And then we are going to practice painting some letters. I'm going to write their name out with a marker on top of their boards. And then give them some paints and let them try. Help them write letters and maybe some shapes. Yeah. But, yeah. uh... I see. Good job. I've been working on, been just randomly throughout our little sessions, doing days of the week and months of the year. I've got a little calendar coming to help them learn days of the week, months of the year. They both pretty much got the ABCs down. Chloe can now count to um, 20. So Colton's getting there. He can point them out, saying them. We're still getting there. He has picked up a new word. His new word is nasty. If he doesn't like it, he will let you know that yuck, nasty. So now we're moving on to days of the week, months of the year, the calendar. We'll also do numbers as we do that, obviously. We'll keep going from 20 up to 31. Yeah, that's what we're doing today. We're gonna do Play-Doh, I'm gonna cook breakfast. After that's cleaned up, we are going to try to paint some letters, and mostly their name. I wanna work on their name. I've been teaching uh, both of them their full names. I've been teaching them mine and Sean's full names and how old each of them are. Just little things here and there. But anyways, I'm hungry. They're hungry. That's why I got them in here because they kept saying, hungry, hungry. They had a banana and a yoo -hoo this morning as soon as their feet hit the floor. So it's been about an hour. So now everybody's ready for breakfast. Bacon and maple sausage links, I think is what I'm making. And some yogurt and some berries and some cheesy eggs. You guys, I'm kind of really sad because this is our first day of sunshine in a few days, and it's only 19 degrees outside. It is freezing, and the wind is blowing. I'm hoping that it will warm up, and I can take the kids out, kids outside later, but right now, it is just icy, it's so cold. A snack while we finish? Oh yeah, my boy loves his bacon. You guys, Sean brought some watermelon home from the all the baloney's gone baby Mine. you want more watermelon I'm okay here you go <laughs> what kind of look was that <laughs> but he brought some watermelon home from the store and it's actually kind of sweet like i'm just sitting here nibbling on this it's not as sweet as it should be you know but it is still winter ish it's 19 degrees out today but i cannot wait my favorite Mommy. things Mommy. My favorite things in the summertime is watermelon, cucumbers, Mommy. corn on the cob, and green beans. I cannot wait to have Mommy. a sweet, juicy, excuse me, watermelon this summer. Yes, my dear. Bubba, you eating yours? You working on your egg? So my kids, you guys have discovered their love for fried bologna. And I'm okay with that, because I love it too. I'm gonna try them in the morning. I've just been frying them a piece of bologna and cutting it up. Colton's done it too. <laughs> I'm gonna try in the morning to make them a fried bologna and cheese sandwich for breakfast. What? This child, she's like her mama. Last one, you're gonna be pooping watermelon. That's like eight pieces she's had. Sean just called from the shop. One of the machines is giving us a headache again. So he is down there trying to flush the heads out, flush the lines out, make sure there's no air bubbles. Yeah, we have two, thank God. The other one's doing, it's working fine. But this one, he's trying to see why in the world the magenta is coming out blue for some reason. We have no idea. 
we love these machines. I mean, they do great. I definitely prefer direct to garment over vinyl or screen printing on a shirt any day because you can't even feel it. You don't even know it's there. But we have been looking into, you know, we've got those two machines. We have them. He'll get this one fixed. It'll probably take him all day. We have those machines, but we've been looking into a direct to film machine possibly and maybe some other options about making the shirts with. And of course, we'll have those two machines, you know, for backup. That's the point we're at right now. Mama. These direct to garment machines are great. Mama. Now, mind you, ours are used. They were refurbished. We could buy a brand new one. And with that, we would have a tech that would come in. We would get a warranty for so long, but they would come in and fix anything that's wrong with it for quite a while. I think it's like three yeah. years. And the tech is in Lexington or there's one in Kingsport. So that's not too far. Kingsport takes about an hour and 15 minutes to get here. So that would be nice. But those machines are a new one. Would be an investment. That's why we're going round and round between ourselves right now. Either way, the shirts will continue. Anyways, I've rambled on enough. I'm getting ready to clean breakfast up and we're gonna paint some letters. Who's ready? Come on. Okay, Cece, you wanna do a poem? What? Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty. Say, hat sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. Banana. B. Banana. No, that. I know the banana's in there. Come here and show Mama the word banana. Well, you guys, I guess because they played Play-Doh and then had to sit through breakfast, they did not want to sit right now. So we read a couple books and decided to come outside and get some sunshine, even though it is, it's cold. So we probably won't be out here too long. What are you doing? Hi, Mommy. Hi, baby. Hi. Hey, what you doing? Hi. Hi. Are you coloring your house? House. What colors you got? Rabbit. <laughs> what is that? They is that yellow? You have pink chalk? Chalk. Yeah, chalk. Bye. Wrong size. Whoa. Mommy. Hi, honey. Drew a heart. It's dad. Oh, what's that? A C? Look, she made two C's. Good job, Moo Moo. Bubba, where's your chalk? There's some in the playhouse. Go get you a piece of chalk out of the playhouse. There's Yeah, it's in there. It's in the back of the little dump truck. There, Cece, give Bubba a piece. You, thank you. Can you say thank you? You paint in your house. Good job, Bubba. Yeah, draw circles on it. Look how good she did her C's, you guys. I wrote, I've been writing her name and his a lot. When they've got pencils and crayons and stuff, I've been showing her how to trace the ABC for right now, but she did pretty good to be two years old. Hey, we're going. You can bring one of those pillows for your house. Well, nobody's looking. Every parent does it, I know it. What is that? A flower? Oh, it is. It's a little purple flower. So pretty. Thank you. I'll bet you a million dollars this is Sean. Yep. Okay, we are officially back in the house. It is icy outside. We stayed out about 45 minutes, but I tell you what. <laughs> you hair. She's got her little play brush. She's been brushing her bangs. I got your hair's wild. <laughs> She's got half of her hair pulled out of her little thing. We came in the house, practiced a little bit of writing. Now I am making us some lunch. It is 1.50, so it's been a busy morning. We do a lot of learning through play on days that they're not really willing to sit down for too long. You know, mind you, Chloe's too, and Colton just turned four. But the days they're not really willing to sit down long and do too much, we do books. I just rerun over what we know, and then I'll throw, you know, something new out like days of the week. 
show them the calendar on my phone and stuff. I got one coming. I think I told y'all that for them to learn with. But anyhow, I'm making lunch. I have got noodles going and I'm just going to throw in some sauce and some cheese. No meat because this is just lunch. That's pretty much it at the moment. I think we're just going to wrap. brother sister problems it's the monday of all mondays today i feel like the machine's going on with sean the kids not really wanting to sit down and do too much learning school stuff today it's just a cold monday We're taking over dinner already what you doing i gotta do something uh useful today other than work on a broken machine that machine has got the best of him today guys one is working the girl that works for us she's down there printing shirts right now but it took sean quite a few hours to get it going he just had her pre-treating and well, doing here, other stuff while here's what got me too i missed donnie moved all the vehicles he's getting ready to build the the dirt track because we're going to try to have a race on the 25th motocross is it's been one of those days every business has them today has been one the machines every so often they like to act up and uh thank god we have two which sean's pretty much about got these machines dissected i think he could probably take one apart and rebuild it by now i don't have the patience <laughs> to do that so let's not burn that bread on me i don't even want to think about that anyways what'd you put in there roast roast yeah frozen roast yeah? An hour and a half, two hours, we'll have some food. Oh my god, look at it. Let me look at you. Yeah. <laughs> I can. I, this I, is like, that's the stuff that happens and why I just can't get content. It's just it, it's the nature of the beast. We're slowly working on figuring that out though. Like I said, oh, Colton's ran off. Hey, what do you got? <laughs> I got <one. laughs> they snag. Are you still going to eat these? Yeah. <laughs> Let's see what you got. Let's see what you got. Nuclear food. He's yeah. We call. Him. He's gonna try that toaster scrambles with bacon. But I don't know if I showed you guys these cabinets. You all for a year was driving me nuts being bare up here. So I finally decided to splurge and put some stuff up there. I shot the house for some of this stuff. I already had that. Got me some lights up there. My kitchen, my rules. And, uh, yeah. And my has it. I had to, uh. Oh, wait. I'm about to string your cat up. Why? She won't quit figure eight around my legs. I can't even move. <laughs> you, you guys, I know y'all remember her. We, we found her in the middle of the highway as a kitten. She ain't a bony little baby kitten anymore, okay? We had her spayed when she was six months old, or a little bigger, maybe eight months old. We had her spayed. Now, she will trip you, and I'm not kidding. I don't know how many times that cat has tricked me flat on my face. When she's hungry, she's worse than a toddler. Hi, Daddy. Hi, Daddy. But the other day, well, it was the other morning, I was still half asleep. I stopped in the bathroom, done my business, because I just woke up come through here and she knocked me flat on my face weaving in and out of my feet she's a butterball now you save the rest of your tummy room for dinner and have good food okay no. yes we're gonna have good food no oh i'm telling you it's this winter weather what no. Wait. Sleepy. you're sleepy is that what's wrong I'm sleepy. she's sleepy <laughs> Oh, no chippies. You can wait till dinner and have good food. Yeah, oh my Lord, watch me sway. Darkness falls and we all pray. Hoping for the light of day. Down to the river. I have held the devil's hand Felt the weight of my own sin Burdened by the heart of man Down to the river Down to the river Mama 
taught me how to live Daddy taught me how to give Both of them had their own sins Down to the river Every man has felt the shame All I love, it runs the same Father, hear us as we pray say yesterday was a Monday and leave it at that because it was it about drove me crazy yesterday Donnie got all the cars and everything that was in the middle and got them out of the way now he is starting to break ground on what's gonna be our arena style motocross track and this is gonna be a good one y'all figure we go ahead and start with that because it's gonna really be the easiest thing to do is get that going still got to get the track graded but we got a guy coming to do that really soon got to get a lot of the parking over in what's going to be the pit now one question i have been getting a lot and it's mostly from people here local is where's the pits going to be anybody knows this track knows that little building there pits is going to start right there go all the way down around into the back everything from there around is going to be regular parking that's really the only way to keep it fair for the people that pay to be in the pits versus the people that pay to be in the regular park. You're talking $20 to watch the race, but $35 to $40 to be in the pits. We can maintain it better from this area back. Well, today's National Down Syndrome Day, and me and Megan and Colton and Chloe are going to go to the grill and eat in a little bit. Another question I've been getting asked a lot is about track advertisement and sponsorship. Yes, we're going to be selling advertisement spots, on every inch of this place, fencing and all. We are gonna have spots open for advertisement, but we're also gonna have spots open for sponsorships. Leave a comment, I'll give you a way to get in contact with me on either one. Best way probably be on uh, Facebook, on our Mountain Motor Complex page. That's where we're gonna be posting everything, setting up the events calendars. All right, I'm gonna walk around, I'm gonna come up with me a checklist of some things I need to get done and get me a hand down here while Donnie's working on the track. I can be doing a lot of the cleanup. Uh, you wanna get me somebody down here, help me tear this fence down, like I said, and start picking up a lot of this garbage and debris that's laying around, getting some of it burnt out, getting everything looking good. We're gonna sow some nice Kentucky bluegrass. We're gonna plant flowers. We're like, guys, we're gonna make this place nice. We're gonna put photo op spots everywhere where you can Take a picture and then, you know, tag us on Facebook or Instagram or whatever social media app you use, whether, you know, maybe TikTok or if it's still around or even here on YouTube. But, all right, y'all, I'm going to let him get to work. I'm going to walk around, get me a checklist, and then I'm going to go to the house and uh, get ready to go take my family out to dinner today. Oh my God, these seats. That door didn't shut good. <laughs> How am I supposed to do? Hey. What? You step out and shut that door good. You didn't shut it? <laughs> no, it barely shut. Oh, she got it. There you go. How am I supposed to film like this? I don't know. <laughs> these seats, we've got to get a bigger car. We need to get a Tahoe or something. I mean, seriously, we have to. We got it inside that's bigger <laughs> inside. Yeah. <laughs> it said inside. Hi guys. <laughs> so do not mind me. Like I look like I've got football player shoulders here, I promise. This is all my sweatshirt. What is today? 
Mama. Is it Down Syndrome Day? Day. So, I didn't know if many of you guys knew, but today, now when you guys see this video, it won't be anymore because we pre-record these videos, but today, uh, Mama. what's it doing? Yeah, but today is World Down Syndrome Day, so we are going out to dinner to celebrate Colton and many, many others across the world. Yeah, we're going to his favorite restaurant downtown, which is the Grill, Pine Mountain Grill, because they've got a little gift shop, a little toy section to the side, and it is just his, they've got little baskets with all kinds of doodads, and it is just pilfering heaven for him, and he always finds him uh, the perfect toy he has to have, so that's what we're doing today, taking these nuggets out to eat, celebrate. Here? Yay! Ready to go get bye bites We're here. It's Bubba's favorite restaurant. <laughs> What'd you say? Open it. Thank you. Yay, did you color? Ooh, what color you got, blue? Yes. I'm big up. I wait to it. I wait back. Scratchy little boys. I know. I know. It's been a while since y'all have seen her out with us, ain't it? Yeah. She's a school. She's about to graduate, so she's doing nurse aid and all that busy, busy stuff. Wait. Okay, ma'am. Is it good? Is that a good grilled cheese? Yeah. You know what's weird? He won't eat them at home hardly. Mm. Come here and he'll put a half a grilled cheese down. Say, so that's good. Hey, ma'am. Yeah. Right. Snake. No. 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 <laughs> what are you saying? Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. Is it breakfast time? Bye-bye. Don't show our parents and tell. Hey, are you hungry? Bye-bye. I said, don't show our parenting fail. We're having Dairy Queen for breakfast, y'all, because I cook breakfast 360 at least two days a year. All right, y'all. I hope you enjoyed this video. I've got to get down to the track. We are going to attempt to have a motocross race Sunday. Lord willing and the creek don't rise. I think last time I said that we had a flood, so I gotta be careful about that one. This is just the beginning. I know it's a little short notice, but it's neither here or there. We're just gonna try to get it going. Is that what you're eating? Yeah, I'm having me a quick little mom breakfast because I got things to do. All right, we love y'all, and until the next time. I love you. <laughs> stay positive, y'all. Stay country. Stay true to your roots. Bye. Bye.